Good day, fine people. A very warm welcome to you once again. My name is Nick on the ZX Spectrum 48K, and we're looking at a game called Chef's Mate, published by Dominic J. Morris in 1991. So quite a late release. You might want to read that, but the game is very similar. It draws influences strongly from the game Fast Food from Codemasters in 1989, created by the Oliver Twins. But essentially, before a time runs out on a single screen maze, you must guide your, it has to be said, very dizzy looking character uh, to collect all the food. There we go, then get to the exit point. So we've seen the ludicrous prot. There's a the keyboard which I'm using Z ZX O and K. So I'm that guy in the middle who isn't dizzy, he just looks very much like dizzy. Time ticking down in the bottom right. Now one of these objects, well that one did it, that was a fluke. One of the objects gives you more time. Uh, so the order of getting these is quite important. Get the one that gives you the most time straight away. This is my first go on the thing. I've never played it before, so uh, we'll see how I get on. It's not about excellent gameplay. We all know this. It's about seeing how you got, ooh, seeing how you got on your first or second go. I don't know how big the game is. This won't be a walkthrough, but let's just see as far as I've got. You let me know if you've played this or indeed fast food from Code Masters in 1989. It's not as good as that one, to be honest with you. It looks a bit like. I don't know if it's programming basic, but not far off. It's um, it's not smooth to say the least. Right, stage two, time ticking down, look at that, see if it's going to jump up at any point if we click the right item. Good, good, good. So this guy, he's gone down a mouse hole to recollect all the food. Now this restaurant really should be closed down because if a, if a mouse has gone into your restaurant and stole all the food, it's probably best to say, well, we're not going to use this food for paying customers anymore. Uh, let's just get some new food in. But not these people. They've sent this egg man down the mouse hole to get all the food back from them and then serve it up to the customers. What's going on there? Right, here's the exit point, flashing a bit like the box from Manic Miner, I'd have to say. There's very few games up to the remembrance of Manic Miner, but 1991, this came to have a sequel called Chef's Mate 2, believe it or not, in the same year. So, none of this is advanced stuff. Now, there's nothing chasing us in this game so far. Uh, everything's very, very stationary, it's just us against the clock. So it's not the most exciting one in the world. Whether the sequel, Chef's Mates 2, would have done it, I presume, I don't know this for definite yet, I presume Chef Mates 2 is using the, using the same code as Chef's, the original Chef's Mate and just adding a bit extra there. So the level is in the top left. See, it's number three, and we've done that already. Dominic J. Morris, not quite sure what else he's done besides these. But uh, very late in the Spectrum run, I don't know if it's officially published, it just says published by Dominic J. Morris, perhaps he put it up somewhere. Feels a bit like a cover tape, and I would have been pleased to get this as a cover tape back in the day. Right. So yeah, there's, the, there's the item, so each screen's got the item which gets the most time. I presume if you don't get that one near the start, you've got no chance of there. So bear in mind this is my first go, I've already got to stage 4, so it's quite kind to the newbies. Please consider subscribing if you haven't already. If you watched this far into the chaos and stupidity, then well done. Maybe you are a chaotic and stupid person yourself, like me. Hooray! It's all about beating stress, whether you're crazy or not. Uh, let's just take a break from reality and get a bit of a nostalgia fest which calms us all, taking us back into those eras we had less trouble to deal with. This looks like it might be a bonus stage. So I'm not going to lose a life here. Just get as much food as you possibly can. So don't get me wrong, out of the two I'd rather play fast food from Cobras in 89 than this one, but this is good to see as well. They should have made the character a lot different from Dizzy, to be fair, um, but they didn't. It's always this single graphic, it's not moving, the feet aren't moving, uh, but it seems to be able to get away with it for what it is. Chef's mate. Right, here we go, stage six. Uh, now. Well, the time's ticking down again, have a look at that, is it going to go up? So you can try and predict which item is probably going to be the time bonus. Probably the most difficult one to get would probably be it. Is that it? No. Well, we've done it in the wrong order here, but I think we've got enough time, have we? No, there was no time bonus there that I saw, unless I missed it, but we've got enough time there, and it's easy enough. One criticism of this, unless I'm being um, incredibly lucky, it does seem a bit easy. There were some enemies um, chasing you on the screen, that'd be good. It looks like the sort of game that Inafuto could have a go at uh, there to try and improve to a, a fast food sort of like game. But anyway, as we go through on stage 7, 
The maze looks like it's cyan each time. So back in the day, 1991, I would have been disappointed. If it had been in 1984 or 1983, um, um, before fast food, then I thought, yeah, that's fine. I wouldn't have a problem with that. I think I'm going to run out of time here. But uh, yeah, it's a little bit lacklustre, but from a nostalgia point of view, good to see. Oh dear, we've got to get an animation now that we die, are we? A dustpan and brush. Well, that's not too bad. It does that in Marble Madness, actually, as well, doesn't it? Very strange. Good, good, good. Right, stage seven. Now, we've worked out that was the one that gave us the bonus time. So now it should be a little bit easy. No diagonal here, just up, down, left and right. Um, as I say, you've already seen it's not moving particularly smooth. For a game of this sort of era, it should have been a lot smoother. Yes, Chef's Mate. My favourite Chef game is probably Burger Time on the Commodore uh, 64. There's a few um, versions on the Spectrum which I didn't quite uh, like. But anyway, uh, I think there's one called Baps Out. Baps Out we reviewed, I think. That wasn't too bad really, but anyway, let's go up there. So seven stages done. Um, you start off with three lives, we've only lost one so far. If you want to see other ZX Spectrum stuff we've looked at, they're all in the playlist. Everyone knows how to get there, so we'll say it all together. To get there, click on my username, get to the channel page, click on the playlist tab, and um, you know, the Spectrum there belongs with a list of other stuff. Right, okay, stage eight. Hmm, I wonder if it's got to like, like 10 stages, or has it got like a million billion stages? be good if it had an editor but the thing that would have made this game brilliant or well, it was a little bit better improve the scrolling and have a few enemies that's chasing you around the maze and that would have been fine then it would have been there then it just seems like it's only about 90 percent complete i just need that extra a bit there to tip it into um you know what could be an addictive game we all know that fast food was an addictive game oh look at that i was just split seconds away so on my last life then i presume let's get that object on the right there about midway down probably can get this one first here this red bottle of what's a name looks like a liqueur liqueurs i like a baileys if that can be classed as a liqueur but lemoncello is a good one get that don't drink a pint of lemoncello it'll be somewhere else right and also as well don't eat a cello because that gets stuck in your throat have you if you have attempted to eat a cello and that's got stuck in your throat then comment in the comment section below or a double bass let's say that both of them are quite unsafe to swallow a uh, whole right biff state and eight done i've only got one life left so it's probably gonna um end quite soon i would have thought good old bonus score there stage nine there's a banana which is going to be is this going to be the bonus one no which is the bonus item this could all go a bit wrong that's not the bonus item it's going to be that one down the bottom isn't it you've got a bonus item down the bottom then comment in the comment section below no don't do that actually this is a pg channel and that was the bonus item good Right, still looks a bit short on time to be fair that's gonna be a bit tight sometimes the uh, the uh, the flickery movement might get you trapped and cost you a vital few seconds uh eight this is gonna be click close seven oh no i think we're gonna be okay actually there we go with three whatever it was seconds to spare i don't know if this is programming basic i don't think it is uh, what's that thank you for rescuing the food as a reward i didn't have time to read that you can go back and pause it but we've completed the game. That's disappointing. Nine stages, ludicrously short. Why was it? Why was it that short? Well, on my first go, as not the best game player in the world, I've completed it. We needed more. Maybe Chef's Mate Two will give us more. We'll perhaps look at that uh, next week. Let's dive in again. Oh, so it didn't really progress anywhere at all, did it? Really? Didn't didn't loop round. Just that screen, which I couldn't read quick enough. Maybe I pressed fire button and got rid of it. But just a short bit of text. As a lot of Spectrum games were saying, "Well done, you've rescued all the food. Um, all this all this food with um, mouse droppings and mouse bites on. You can now serve in your restaurant and probably get condemned or shut down." So, movement poor for the era. Um, but it might have been Dominic J. Morris, one of these early projects. So as an early project, it's quite impressive. As a release game that you would have paid for, uh, you would have gone for fast food, because it's not better than fast food, and come uh, two um, years afterwards. But uh, it's, it's interesting. So I can't, be, I can't be too cruel on the thing. But if you want it to be better, you need stuff chasing you and the movement to be um, smoother. And maybe maybe um, a, a lot more levels maybe the maze changes color every maybe 10 levels and level up 50 levels there but that maybe i'm asking too much at least have 20 levels there we go so double what it was so it's too short it's too short man it's too short 
Right, anyway, let's just, uh, I, w I won't go all the way through again, but I've completed it on my first go, so too easy. Too easy. If Nick can complete it, it's too easy, but it, yeah. Uh, have a go at this one in a photo. Have a go at this one. Right. Chef's mate. If you're watching these lives, they go up on a Saturday. We tend to put two games up every um, Saturday. And we're never going to run out because, uh, you know, there's thousands and thousands and thousands of games. Some you will see, some you won't. Sometimes you'll see a game that you played back in your childhood that you completely forgot about. I didn't know about the name. One of the glory ones for me when that happened was Glass. Oh, that was pretty good. There, so check that review. So, you know, pretty basic what it was. I like what well, I like playing it, but no real reason to play it over fast food when you're looking at Retro Land. So, hope you'd like to have a look at that game. That was Chef's Mate, published by Dominic J. Morris in 1991. Possibly one of his earlier games for he went on to other stuff and yeah influenced by fast food from Codemasters two years earlier from Codemasters if you've got any comments about this game similar games or anything retro then by all means put that in the comment section below or good old ZX Spectrum which we cover the most of on the channel until next time take great care of yourself and a very fond goodbye goodbye do 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 do